This morning I've got uh, the backflip cover on my wife's truck. I've got about four of these things, maybe three, but they probably got 300,000 miles on them total. And I've never had this problem. This is the first time. This is the last piece that flips over and latches and the whole thing fell off. And as you can see, it's really just held in with sticky tape and some rivets that uh, pulled out of the little tiny thin layer of tin they have here on it. Tore it up a little bit here. But uh, there's not much to it. So I'm going to try to figure out how I'm going to fix this damn thing. I mean, maybe I'm just going to move it over a little bit and go back with some rivets. Uh, who knows? First thing I'm going to do though is I got to get this old garbage out of here. And it looks like to do that I have to pull these covers off, which are all Phillips head screws. So that's what we're going to do now. one of the rivets. Here's another one. You basically got to take the entire mechanism out, string and all, because all the rivets are underneath it. Looks like that's all done after the fact. Conveniently though, this looks like it may be riveted and screwed. So that should be fun. Let's find out. That's good. <sighs> Gotta undo both sides before it'll come out, of course. see the entire scope of our disaster so all of those rivets need to come out that's just some beautiful work they've got there and then I may just go back with more rivets just in different spots because that held for a while and it's holding on all my other ones so I'm gonna go get a pair of diags and see if I can get this thing taken cleaned up. Garbage. 
I guess that'll work. I could have drilled these out, but what fun would that have been? Anyway, I'm gonna fumble around with this for a little while, and then when I get them out, we'll figure out what we're gonna do next. Okay, we got all the stupid rivets out, and these probably aren't exactly right. I'm gonna start with these, because they're the shallowest ones I have, and I don't wanna have to go through this to the outside, but we're gonna try to set this disaster approximately where it was about like that see what we can do so far tweaky getting them in there with these ledges but not too bad how many of these do I have I got enough if 10 held it in before 15 or 20 should hold it in fine now together Put these pieces on before you put the ends on, because if you want the holes to line back up, that's apparently important.
right, and let's see. All right. We're basically back in business. So that's good. Very good. And if I wanted to, actually, it looks like I could slide it over a little bit, but I just put it back where it was, and it ended up being not quite centered. But uh, good enough. Yeah. And my little whoopsies. <laughs> Fix those. Body man extraordinaire. Close enough. But that will keep that latched. So I'm pretty happy with that. I've been procrastinating on it for a while because I had a whole bunch of other crap to do and it really wasn't hurting anything, but it is kind of nice to have this thing semi-secure. So there you go. If you ever have a problem with your backflip, that's what this one is. Or probably any of the other these of these things, it looks like you can just rivet it back together. You just clean it all up, put it, and then pick some spots that haven't been ruined by the old rivets. Yeah, she may come apart again at some point, but hey, cheaper than a new one. Talk to y'all later.